Okay. I think it's telling me, bro, Minecraft's not working right now. Okay, you know what? Fine. Fine. If y'all really want to be like that, if y'all really want to be like that, <laughs> I'll play your damn game. I'll fall victim to it, okay? But not because, not because I want to, but because I have to. Okay. Uh, yeah, because you work just fine. But, whatever. Okay, okay, okay. Let's do... Bam. And it should... There we go. Okay. English. And then it full screens for us. Yeah, there we go. We'll play the yapping simulator. Glitch city, yada yada. We'll continue on where we left off. Push. Uh, Ballad of a Gay Ghost? Okay. I didn't even read that before, so I was just like, is that always been there? You know? Um, look at these little guys, by the way. They're awesome. Let's go. Uh, deal. Wait, room ship, shining finger, will automatically be on the 17th. You can get at least $800. Yada yada. Uh, curry goes to spend money. And from what I remember, everything's pretty much already done. Shop. Cover an item to examine it. Couple click on it to buy it. Oh my god. I get to buy stuff from my house. That's kind of cool. Mulan tea. $900? God damn. You tell me. Wait. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. At least $800. So you're telling me this drink is rent right here? You're kidding me. All right. Uh, <laughs> cool, I guess. Shashim Shashimon no, or oh, we're banner with Kira. Mickey's face on it. Crazy with fan 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 fantasticism. Also, give me like one second. Huh? Sorry, I got called by my dad. <laughs> uh, he, he, it was an accident. I think he butt dialed me. Oopsie daisy. You know, happens. I was just like, I thought it was important, so I was like, I don't want to make a deal out of it, but never mind. Um, okay. This is a uh, uh, beer on discount. A thousand dollars! The owner's trying to quit drinking, so she's selling him dirt cheap. What do you mean, dirt cheap? Bro. My rent is less than that. How cheap is is this, is my apartment just cheap? At least $800. Or, no, it's not rent. That's just a membership thing. Never mind, my bad. <laughs> uh, they're gonna have curry? A ghost took my money. Are we talking about Gillian? Gillian? There's no curry, though. Oh, wait, no, I was trying to read it. Feel the thrill of being scammed by souvenirs without leaving Glitch C. Wow. And Ikineko, they say he's been good luck. Paul's broken, so I wouldn't trust it. <laughs> There's a poster. I could tear one off any wall in the vicinity, but hell knows what germs they have. True. Wait, so what's the difference between... It's a banner of... You see, what? Vintage gaming experience are the cumbersome low times they were meant to be. <laughs> Hollow Flint. In memory of a real plot, potted plant. Recycling, despite the noisy name, it's just a fan. Fans are good though, really good. Paper okay, lantern, thanks to the chemical coating preventing bugs from eating it. We advise against using it. Interesting. Um, sorry, cartridges. They're games, no collector wants, but it's still nice to a displaying. Crack drama, Japanese souvenir that has seen better days. It has vintage charm to it. Alex figure, from cult classic video game Y2K. <laughs> His beard. Wait. Beard grows in real time. I don't like that. Blue poster, none of the ID snatches. Beloved police mockumentary. Oh. Huh. Mega Misfit, make a Christmas tree, celebrate the bastardized commercial version of already bastardized civilization. Uh, celebration. Not a sentient, just as cute for the replica toy. Tur. Tur? Huh. 
You now browse that. You now visit this. Okay. Oh, this is the danger one. We already saw this before. The Mickey concert is threads, and this one is about the. Um, it's just the same guy. Explosion. No, this is not explosion. This is the something. Uh, consider like shrimp, shrimp ramen, and then Alice Rabbit. I don't remember the song actually. Oh, dog. Never mind. I remember this song. Okay. It's nothing, nothing too crazy. Add up. Uh, this is a save and load. Okay. Those purple numbers. Yeah, there's a code there, but I, I can't. You know, I, I'm, I'm not doing that right now. <laughs> Good work. I know. I think. Oh crap! I think I said I was gonna do that. Psh, it's fine. We'll solve it later. Okay. Jill. That's us. Good evening. Hey, Jill. Oh, it's you. No, it's not you again. You're the boss. Wait, bah! That's a sound you don't hear any day. Boss, so what are you doing with that helmet? It's just, um... That's, um... What's her name? The, the Valkyrie lady one. Her helmet. I thought that's where you came from. A white knight came here, so she left, and, well, she forgot to take it with her. I figured she'd eventually come looking for us. So I left it in the count... Wait. Do you regularly put things on without asking what they belong to first? I don't plan to value every move, Jill. I just act. I'd buy that for a dollar. <laughs> anyway, as your boss, I'm taking this helmet until the client comes for it. You sound happy. Well, this helmet's comfortable and cool and comfortable and cool and <laughs> really cool. Hello. I mean, um, I forgot her name, but the Valkyrie lady. She did say, like, she she forgets she has it on sometimes because it's really comfortable. Okay. It's strange it's your late, Gil. Yeah, the traffic was... Ah, gah. Don't run. Yeah, I've worked with you. I'm not going back to Hong Kong. <laughs> Hong Kong? She? Sorry, I thought you were someone else. Oh, I thought it was a freaking uh, Valkyrie or whatever. Apparently, I'll leave the rest up to you. I'll detonate the Pluto warhead somewhere safe. The what? Where now? Nothing, never mind. Huh? She seems happy. <laughs> She's been tense these past couple of days. Is she somehow relaxed now? Good. Are you all set? Are we? Yep. Cool. Alrighty. Uh, what are you thinking? I don't know any of these songs. Uh, I heard some of them, I guess. So, I guess... Get... Uh, oh, we can load preview? Whoa. Okay. Damn, that kind of sucks. Okay, let's put this here. Is there a PV? No. Oh, I accidentally switched them. Uh, it's fine. I mean, these aren't doing well. I'm just gonna shuffle them, I guess. Get, 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 get. And boom. Okay. Time to make shrinks and change lives. <clears throat> oh, hey, Mr. Donovan. Donovan D. Donovan. Hey, Brett, you're in luck. I decided to bless this place again. Huh. <laughs> Lucky, he said. <laughs> Oh, Mr. Donovan, welcome to Valhalla. What can I get you? What do you think I want, kid? Oh, I sure you got dozed off. Let's get a beer. <laughs> one, one, two, one, one, two, one, two, three, four. Two, three, four. Bam! You know, I know what you want. Close. Portion. What the freak you mean? You only wanted a beer. What brings you here today, Mr. Donovan? Today, we're supposed to hand the interns an article topic. All those crazy fellows came flocking to me like the first high schooler with a car. <laughs> I couldn't deal with it, so I switched places with some poor sap. He was supposed to be doing an interview today, but to hell with that. And thanks to that shift... I was about to say shift, actually, but I didn't write what it was. Thanks to that crap, I found myself here, busting your hellhole with my presence. You were here yesterday, too. How did that come about? This is Gal that's performing at a concert later tonight. Is that Mickey, I think? So, like, is that almost Miku? I said, I was tuning the details of the interview I had with her today. And like I said, I'd rather work here than deal with a pack of competitive fellows. I see. <laughs> How's the interview? Easy enough. The fact that the Gal had a nice pair of knockers helped. Alright, buddy. Come a long way in the Department of Lithium Sex Appeal, I tell you. Do you know the Lithium, then? Yes, one of those new fancy King Class CH1A models. I've heard they're automatically correct in every atom anatomically correct in every way. I wouldn't mind finding out about that myself. Hmm, hey you, the guy with the John face. Huh? He has a John face. That's what that's what we were saying. What the hell is a John face? Yeah, you. Do I know you? I don't think so, sir. 
No, no, I'm pretty sure I know you. Wait, wait, wait. It was in the Hong Kong riots 10 years ago, right? I've never been to Hong Kong. I certainly don't defect from any anti-riot force after stealing supplies. Really? That's a bummer. You look like the guy who owes me a drink. You're in those riots, Mr. Donovan? Do I look like some anarchist hippie to you? 10 years ago, I tried to start a silicone business. So I was in Hong Kong talking with some investors and some damn riots broke out. Seriously though, did they really think the laws they were trying to pass wouldn't backfire? They were openly trying to segregate people with augmentations. No matter how many they have different capabilities you put in between, it's still segregation. And once people start crying, segregation, like that, you're doomed. I mean, yeah, this is the PR century. If you're going to do that, disguise it a bit. That's a very laconic way of summarizing the incident. I mean, there was a political agenda revolving around cheap labor, and the plan reached such a developed stage because the media was instilling fear in the public. The general fear that augmented people would become power-hungry maniacs was a key factor in the plans, and everything is mostly the aftermath of previous protests were... Yeah, on second thought, maybe it's better to be laconic. Trying to get a full picture might take you back beyond the Industrial Revolution. All that happened when I got out of high school. I remember I had to turn down a scholarship in Hong Kong because of all that heh, Kong's scholarship. That's no mean feat, brat. Well, I guess without even the scholarship, there would have there would have been a language barrier. I remember I was kind of excited back then too because I was really into this one Chinese idol band. <laughs> it's one of those things I'd rather not much remember much of. You'd be surprised how easy Chinese can be. So you know how to speak Chinese? The only translator I had available was some pizza face pencil neck, and I wasn't gonna allow myself to be seen with that. If someone like him, someone like me can learn Chinese in two weeks, well, I'm guessing a scholarship student might have a chance. Why do I feel like he suddenly challenged me to finally learn Chinese? Chinese? What? When you say Chinese, do you mean Mandarin or Cantonese? Tangerine? Cantonese? What? When people say Chinese, they're usually referring to the written word, not the spoken one. It's important to clarify, because there are tons of dialects in the Chinese language. In Hong Kong, lots of people speak Cantonese, but just saying Chinese won't do. You might, you might have learned Cantonese because you're only getting to Hong Kong. Or you might have learned Mandarin because you won't. it's the one spoken by the majority elsewhere. I went to Hong Kong managed to see the deal. I have no idea about anything else. Right. Anyways, surely a student with a scholarship can serve me a Mars Blast too, right? Ah, <laughs> sure. On it. Do you have enough food before I home? <laughs> uh, let's get a Mars Blast for you. Okay, so, one, two, three, four, five. You're feeling something different today, huh? You said it was just a beer. Four. Uh, okay, and then one, two. All blended, nothing else? No? Okay. Let's give it a second. Four, five. Blend it up. Bonk. Mars Blast. All for you. Alright, I guess I believe your story. <laughs> it's because of the Mars Blast. Hey kid, I got wasted yesterday. There's a certain protocol here. Oh, okay, wait, I should check the volume. Uh, we good? We good? It's a little loud. Okay, my bad. My bad. My bad. My bad, guys. I didn't mean to be so loud. I didn't realize until I just remembered it right now. Like, wait a second. It might be a little too loud. Uh, what are we thinking? Right here? Right here. Yeah, maybe like right here. Or, no, it might be too quiet. There we go. That's a bit better. Yeah, a little bit there. There we go. I uh, will see. How it is. We're just guessing. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> hey kid, I got wasted yesterday, so there's a certain protocol here. Would you mind telling me if I said anything someone would use against me in a court of law? Unless complaining about your investors can be used as a legal weapon, I don't think so. Oh good, freak the son of. Okay. <laughs> what did I tell you? How they wanted unreasonable stuff. I forgot to change the game. Didn't I? I did. I'm like all over the place today. <laughs> My apologies. Let's go back. There you go. How they want unreasonable stuff. How they feel like they have more power than you and all that. Oh yeah, I recall something like that. And then again, it seems to be something I say a lot when drunk. That and racial slurs in German. Racial slurs in what? But let me tell you something. There are people worse than your investors. Who? Your clients. Huh? Excuse me. Your readers. If you think clients are always right when you're wrong. Or... If you think clients are always right, then you're wrong. Unless I'm a client, that is. We live in an era where PR is the first and only word in everything. You can sell the just the crappiest of stuff. People will buy it if you're the apple of their eyes. That is true, actually. <laughs> but make one freaking mistake and it's over for you. You're suddenly a criminal to them. No chance of appeal. God forbid. 
Yeah, God forbid they ever catch something you said out of context. A month ago, we had to clarify that we were talking about an animal in an article about cougars in nearby forests. All because we got a pack of 40 year old divorced soccer moms crying about hurt feelings. They were having picnic parties with the same forest and thought we were writing about them. God, I hope at least. <laughs> what? I hope at least one of them gets eaten, the damn namesake. Yeah, it's funny when somebody else hears it, but when the smell of rosy perfume still or but the smell of rosy perfume still makes my blood boil. Nowadays, nobody can take a joke. They're always out for blood. You can't win. You will always offend somebody. And while some take it graciously, many just love feeling insulted. They relish the thought of ganging up against something. And those hypersensitive bastards are your clients. They're the ones you have to target. I run a goddamn newspaper. The whole point is to present news in the most natural, neutral way possible. Being offended by a newspaper is like being angry at a mirror. Sure, let's go with that. I mean, it's not like he's totally wrong, but hearing it from him is kind of... Damn, look at the time. I need to get back to work soon. Really? I just finished an interview and it must be posted as soon as possible. <clears throat> the fact that we're posting it after the chick finished her concert is not for a problem already. Some delayed the interview? The interview was supposed to happen last Friday. One of the interns, this meek little girl, was supposed to do it. Was it Kim? Uh, but for some freaking reason, she just didn't. I spent two days negotiating something else instead. Negotiating? You have to pay or something? Basically, when that when that encore concert happens, I had to plaster that chick's face all over the front page. I see. Okay then, one last drink before I leave. What are you thinking? Something bitter to wake you up. Sure. I was thinking about that joke. What are we talking about? Again, okay, we want uh, something bitter. What are we thinking? A gut punch? There was one that's like sobering, it said. <clears throat> Power driver? Uh, maybe that one? Okay, maybe a uh, pod driver might be good actually. Suplex? Uh, Grizzly Temple? Okay, maybe. I think we're maybe we're just gonna stick with the um no not beer. A um Sunshine Cloud? No, we're not gonna like that. Honestly, it's gotta be a uh, suplex or a gut punch. Out of these two, putting more emphasis on the tongue burning, less than the throat burning. <laughs> They're kinda the same. Um uh, these are these two are pretty similar. Um so what, gut punch? It's supposed to mean a punch made of innards, but it actually describes how you feel about after while drinking it. I guess this one, yeah. One, two, three, four, five, one of these, and optional climatrine. Nah, there's something to wake you up. I get you. Two oh wait, no, it's all age. One, two, three, four, five, age. Ooh, you don't need to get more drunk, okay? You gotta do your work. One, two, three. Four. It's bitter, manly, and strong. Here. Yeah, this works just fine. Man, that gal's producer is angry as freak. Trying to negotiate with him was a hassle. I had less problems dealing with SoCal Justice Warriors. Who? SoCal Justice Warriors, that mafia slash vigilante group that runs around solving crimes in swimsuits. Oh yeah, those artificially blonde, artificially tanned folks with big blunt objects. Yeah. Very interesting group, you know? They only accept people born or raised in South California and go through hellish training on a daily basis. They have to. No normal person can run around in swimsuits in this cold weather. They have an interesting view on the world and how it works, but they're pretty sensitive too. Too many outlets have insulted them in the past, so they're trigger happy against defamation. I've had a dozen guys in Speedos talking to me about some news while flaunting their bags of batteries. And they're still more polite than that producer guy. Think about it, watching a b b banana hammock move at the same time as a bag of batteries is more pleasant. I don't... Okay, I'm pretty sure there's, a there's banana hammocks and bags of batteries audience somewhere though. Well, I'm out. Thank you. Please come again. Yeah, yeah. That was, uh, tiring. Hey, Joe, I think I have a problem. Don't tell me. Yep, I can't take the helmet off. <laughs> yeah, yeah, very funny. You take the internet for help? How does it go? A Valkyrie type white knight helmet. It's not a precisely a common query, you know? I could break it, but I don't want to damage the client's proper... What? Did you run out of air? I just realized you served a Valkyrie in Valhalla. <laughs> uh, don't, don't scare me like that. I don't think you can run out of air with this helmet. What are you gonna do? I know someone that might help me. I'd give her a call. Let's see, what's the number? Here it is. Hey, Iris. I need some unclogging advice. Iris. Um, 
I heard Chief call her a couple of times. Maybe she's a friend? More importantly, would you be fine? She will. Even if there's no god or Buddha, you can always trust boss. Yeah, let's hope you're right. Dorothy, hey honey, can you see me? Oh, Dorothy. Yeah, I can see you. Why? Really, man, they sent me the wrong stuff? Who sold you what? Gee, I'm going out for a bit to buy a screwdriver and bacon. And... Are you talking to yourself again? No, I'm not. Hello. Oh, hello, Dorothy, wherever you are. I'll be back in a bit, though. She didn't see you? Oh, I get it now. They sold me a v VIC jammer, not an optic camouflage symptom. Sy system. Uh, care to explain? Have you seen those pics or videos of someone trip stripping or undressing? But I mean the ones where clothes are the only thing you see and the other person's invisible. Come again? In my ear this time? <laughs> There's people out here with a fetish for invisible people. But you can only see a few articles of clothing floating about. I was trying to find something that would let me cater to that fetish, but my contact misunderstood my request. I asked him to bring me something that make me invisible. And he did. But I'm only invisible to cameras. Oh, well, even then, something, something, something. Oh, you have a point. Oh, well. I'll work something out. Maybe I'll get a na nano camo module. Nano camo? Haven't you heard of nano camo? No. They're a military technology company that recently branched to civilian appliances. They use nanotechnology to make fabric or other materials or to take any color or texture you want. You can order a module from them and change the color of clothes, walls, or tables with it. Sounds interesting. Maybe I'll look it up. What does that have to do with what you want, though? If I remember correctly, they have they have a module that makes things almost invisible to the human eye. It was quite pricey last time I checked, though. Almost. To the human eye? Well, it's not perfect. If you move, there'd be an eerie surroundings colored blob, and we lithium see things differently, so it's ineffective against us. Still, it might not, it might be what I need. Now, what was you talking about yourself again? Nothing important. <laughs> what do you have? I'm in a good mood, so give me a piano woman. Sure. Wait, wait. If I only remember that song's lyrics. What? Piano Man? Piano, piano. Or whatever the freak it's called. Um. Wait, no. I, I got Piano Man on accident. Piano Woman. So, one, two, three, four, five. We even check ID, by the way. Two, three, four, five. Two of these. Three of these. And three of these. So, what is that? A five, ten, fifteen, eighteen? There we go. All aged and mixed. One. Two, three, four. Bam! Get that for you. One piano one. <clears throat> Thanks. I love these ones, you know? I keep them for special occasions. Whenever I'm feeling good, I need to get out of a slump. And today? Today I feel good. That's good. That's nice. Yeah. Okay, then. How's this for a bonus payment? Oh, the ticket from Friday. Can't believe I still remember that. That guy was so nice in giving it to me. Too bad I was filled to the brim with dogs. I could have enjoyed the drink here otherwise. I don't think the ticket should be valid. <laughs> But then again, they were improvised, so there wasn't exactly a contract involved or anything. You know, hmm? if you're lonely enough to start talking to yourself, we can hit an arrangement. Keep me fed and I'll keep you company. You still need to pay if you want me <laughs> to get naughty, though. I think I'll pass. I have a cat that does all that. You pay him to finish that sentence and I'll make sure you truly become invisible. Fine, because this is standing off for that. Oh, hey, John. Ah, Dorothy. <laughs> Didn't see you here last Friday. I was dealing with stuff over the weekend. And Monday. Yeah, yeah. Was it a girl? I wish. What'd you do? What'd you do? I did not talk about it. Hey, honey, what did you do? He just been a complete mystery for as long as I've known him. His past is like a nebulous mess of what tries to bite him every once in a while. Nebulous. Nebulous. You hear so much random stuff, it's hard to make connections about what happened when. And, you know, people lie. Does your boss know about it? She said, I'm not one to judge. Seems like she knows what the heck's going on. But I think I'm better off not knowing. It's not really the necessary. It's not really that necessary, and it's a pain to think about. I'm um, right here, you know? Did I tell any lies? No, but... Never mind. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's your boss. Why is she wearing a helmet? She found it. She put it on. Now she's stuck. Ah, oh, freak it! Yeah, but, oh, yeah, that happens. No crap. No freaking... No dough. I mean, there's a girl that wanted to see if she could use the glass bottle as a... <laughs> a bit early for those stories, don't you think? No. I mean, it's what? Like... Like 8.34 right now? 8.30? By the way, it's weird that I didn't see you yesterday. I have a job too, you know? Yeah, we usually come before you start. Oh, did you miss me that much? Yesterday was a bit different. I worked the entire day. I don't know if I should ask. Oh, it was weird, but not kinky weird. The guy pretty much spent all day pretending to be his daughter. Wait, we met a guy who does that. I forgot his name, but he, yeah. Really? 
Yeah, I go to his house at 11 a.m., dress as requested, and spend all day there. Play some games, occasionally tell him I love him, go to bed when ordered, and leave. Nothing sexual. I tried, you used to expect him to push me against the ground and have his way with me. But after three years, it's unlikely that'll happen. Yeah, it's the guy. Yeah, one day a year for three years now. Oh, but last year he also wanted me to pay the part on his daughter's birthday. Wait, does he have a daughter or not? He seen, had. Seems she died four years ago. Oh, yep. I seem to attract that kind of people for some reason. What kind of people? Nobody. I said nothing. Give me a moon blast, would you? Sure. Do you really need enough food for four at home? Uh, you wanted a moon blast, right? Moon blast. One, two, three, four, five, six. One of these. One of these. And two of these. All on the rocks. God dang it. One, two, three, four, five, six. One of these. One of these. Two of these. All on the rocks. And blended. Come on. Blend it up. Looking bonk. Moon blast. Coming right up. Here. Something interesting about this drink. I don't usually like it, but I can't stop drinking them. It tastes a bit like sugar drowned in pure alcohol, so I wonder if you feel like that. There's something I've been meaning to ask you. Yes, I'm single and I don't mind that you're a girl. <laughs> Do you actually mind that anyone is? Not at all. Anyway, it's not about that. Do all DFC-72s look like kids? Yes and no. Out of factory, we look like kids because our development needs to be as close to human as possible. Then you look like babies outside the factory? Nope. Every fresh DFC-72 looks about 10 to 13. Makes it easier to upgrade later. Upgrade? Once a DFC, is it whatever, what's a what DFC? Passes three maturity tests, it can opt for a factory upgrade. Said upgrade alters his body to something older. Some go for it, some don't. Will you go through it? I don't know, right now I'm a rarity. You don't find many many like me in my line of work, so I have an advantage. I never need that advantage, you know? How so? When people hire me, half of the time it's not, be, it's not because I'm me. The amount of role playing I'd have to do on a normal night is ridiculous. So if I stop looking underage, I lose my advantage over everyone else. I don't think about it that way. Should I think about it that way? At all? I mean, maybe I'll go through with, if, if, with it if I ever decide to retire or something. But right now, I'm just fine the way I am. I see. Good evening, Jill. Gil? Sorry. Jill and Gillian. Welcome to... Uh, does that happen a lot? Not really. <laughs> it happens less if Jill would l just let people call her jewels. Jill and... Oh, is it Jillian? It's Jill and Jillian. So it's just Jill and Jill. <laughs> Okay, call me Jules. I make sure every time you sit, you hear the, the freaking ding of your shaker. Fine, fine. I'll be with you in a minute. Jamie, just put me finish here. Sure, no hurry. Hello, sailor. Hello, young lady. Just call me Dorothy. You're Jamie, right? Nice to meet you, Dorothy. Hey, hey, let me buy you a drink. Why can't you do that? I insist. I got a healthy, hefty bonus the other day, and today I'm in a good mood. I suppose it'd be impolite of me to reject. I mean, I'm not going to say no. <laughs> hey, honey, I have a big sunshine cloud. I'll be fine with just a gut punch. Come on, don't be stingy. Ask for something more expensive. I'd rather not. Man, that girl's from the edge of the way she addresses people. Okay, let me get your orders. Sunshine Cloud and Gut Punch. Press next after the first mix to make the second drink. Make both before serving. Okay. Let's get started. Uh, so we want a Gut Punch here. One, two, three, four, five. We want one of these. And do I give him a car machine? Sure, I'll give him one. Um, this is all A's. We're not going to mix yet. And this one's a sunshine cloud. So, sunshine cloud. There we go. Aldehyde. Two Bronson extract. And optional commerchine. I get you one of these. On the rocks and blend it. Let that do. No, oh, I can't do it. Come on. Bam. Sun cloud. And let's do this one. Oh, wait, no. Don't blend. Don't blend. Don't blend. Okay. Whew. That was. That was, uh, that was, that was scary. On the rocks. Oh, that's a sunshine cloud. Uh, let's serve this one. Let's serve both. Here you go. Okay. Is this your, I don't know what I'm all doing, so I have this order? I heard restaurants do that from time to time. You don't seem too upset about this. Because I really like this one. Hey, Dorothy, may I ask you something? A private? If you need a price list, I have a convenient card with updated fees. I can give you a discount if you pay for the room or invite me to dinner. No, thank you. I'm not, it's not about that. Then go ahead. I don't think you can ask me anything I've ever been asked before. Is it true that DFC's line, uh, that the DFC line leaves tracking nano machines and the other person after well, after they violate every hole in your body regardless of its original purpose? Yes. That's a semi myth that nobody has tried to dispel. It's true, but also not true at the same time. Get her explained. 
We do have tracking nano machines, but they're released when the body enters alert mode. When they're being assaulted or like that, wait, or the like. That way the authorities can chase down the attacker. It's kind of buggy though. I've heard stories of DSCs who marry, get nervous on their wedding night, and bam, their partners end up spending the honeymoon in jail. I see. And besides, I've monitored myself so much is that any tracking nano machines are still being released, I'd have to commend their tenacity, to be honest. There's also this urban myth that those nano machines help improve performance, but it's just silly. Now I get now I get to ask you something. Sure, go ahead. How much do you still organic? Just enough that my skin still heals over time. Come on, you know that's not what I mean. I'll tell you that and nothing more, young lady. Fine, see if I care. Honey, I'm going. I'll leave you with this meanie. Thank you, please come again. That girl's something else, huh? She's so earnest about what she does for that. It's kind of hard not to root for her. She's also, she, sure, she also has no qualms about anything whatsoever. It becomes, then that becomes a problem from time to time. Okay, I'm done here. All right, I'm gonna go and take my gill. I need your girly hands for a second time. Your girly hands. <laughs> so you can take care of them while I help you? Sure, no problem. I apologize, I'm taking time from your break. Now nah, don't worry, sorry, you have to deal with me. You're no problem, Jill. Yeah, but you should seem to have a blast when Gil's the one serving you. Anyway, what do you, you want something else? You know you can get Mars Blast? That I can. Uh, okay, Mars Blast, I got you. The order was, uh, I like to say, a rabbit? Why are we just, like, not paying attention? I mean, I guess, make me pay attention, but, like, whatever. All blended? Okay, anything else? Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Wait, what? Oh, I forgot this. One, two, three, four. There you go. Uh, okay. So, all blended. I was just like, I'm missing something. Five. Bam, bam. There we go. Mars Blast, all for you. Hey, bitter and mind numbing, just like war. Have you been to war? Life's a war we fight every day, Jill. So, you haven't been to war. <laughs> Not an official one, at least. There's something I've been wondering for a while now. What could that be? First, it's how a professional assassin can be so polite and pleasant to be, to be around. And guess your line of work doesn't have any bearing on your personality? Thanks a lot. What I've often wondered is how often. How you can be so calm here? Aren't you worried about police? Or like, or they like? Well, first of all, I try to keep everything as clean as possible. Second, I don't come here looking for trouble, so I don't raise suspicion. And finally, you can thank your boss for easing my mind about other folks. My boss? I've seen what she's done. I feel safe here. She could take care of things if I went haywire. Haywire? You? Don't mind that. Hard not to mind. You just said, <laughs> huh? You wouldn't have it to know how she got her mechanical arm, would you? Here she lost her original finding a cyborg wrestler that had gone rogue. Just a rumor, though. Damn, still don't know that. Have you tried asking her? She told me it's more interesting if it's left a mystery. <laughs> it seemed me to believe that she might have started some of the rumors herself. They're believable because she's her. Maybe I'll see her in action one day. You should. It's quite the show. Good news, Jill. The, ha the helmet came off, and you can take your break. Finally. It's always a pleasure, Jamie. Thank you, Jill. Boss, break! Alright. Nice. We're in a good spot now. Bam, 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 bam. Okay, we'll probably finish out this day, and then that'll be it for the stream. Not too long. Uh, woke up nice and early. I pushed a little bit. <laughs> Gotta like grind out, whatever. Break time. Uh, we're good to go. It's now safe to keep playing. Okay. But yeah, that's what, that's, that's what I'm thinking. There's wrestlers in the back. Boss should clean the chicken buckets she throws out. Everyone can smell the spice from a mile away. The chicken buckets. Uh, what are we thinking? This one's... You know... Yeah, I was like, this one's like a song. It's not even a bad song. Uh, what's this one? This one? I'm okay. Ooh, I like that. Yeah, baby. Oh, I have it twice? I didn't realize. My bad. Uh... Every day is a night. Let's put it back. Okay, you can take a couple minutes more, you know? I'm fine, thanks. How'd you get the helmet off? Turns out the release button was jammed with ashes. Whoever owns the helmet made sure to... What? Whoever owns the helmet made sure to use it to the point of voiding the warranty. Keep it safe in case she comes back, okay? Sure. Now, take it away from me before I get composite to put it, put it back on again. Right. Yes, it's open. Great. I'm going to Valhalla. Good evening. What kind of place is this? Can I step some kind of afterlife? Sure. Do you often enter places without knowing what they are? Kind of, sort of, yeah. What is a bar? A bar? Nice, nice. We're gonna get you. I don't know. I don't drink that much, to be honest. What do you recommend for me? What do you normally enjoy? I like tea. That's not something I can work with. What about flavors? 
bitter but not too bitter. Sorry, it was too confusing. Something bitter but not too much. Bitter and girly. Okay, if only I can remember that song's lyrics. You want me to get a piano woman? <laughs> um, maybe not. You want something bitter? Pretty woman? So complaining that there should be a piano woman is a piano man. Maybe not. Um, I'm thinking that one one with that's like session club. Yes, I think this one good. One two one two and optional carmatrine. I don't know if she wants uh, the carmatrine yet. I think I'm just gonna keep it like this for now. So yeah, that's good. And then we blend it up. Or five blend up. Boom. Sun cloud. All for you. Try this. Yep, that'll do just fine. Yes. You don't look like you're from around here. I brought you by Miss. I'm the star that's always shines in, uh, that always shines in the dark night sky. I'm the glow that will guide you through your sorrow. I'm the northern light that was showing your dreams. Begin. I'm Kira. Mickey. So should I call you Miss Mickey or Miss Kira? No, you're not kidding. I'm just Kira Mickey. Yeah, I don't. <laughs> Here, let me help you. I say Kira and you say Mickey, okay? Okay. Kira. Mickey. I don't know. Put more spirit into it. Kira. Mickey. <laughs> Almost there. Kira. <laughs> Kira. Yeah, yeah, I get it. I get it. Uh, Jill and Jillian, Mickey, Kira, everyone, <laughs> everyone, that's it, are you feeling it? Kira, everyone, <laughs> Mickey, what is happening right now? Everyone's joining in, and don't you ever forget it. Oh, how am I doing out here? Oh, where, where were we, Jamie? Right, I was telling you, <laughs> now you're good, thank you. Kira, Mickey, it's nice to know I still have it, especially since I have a concert in a bit. Concert? Well, you're the lithium that's pushing on a concert, putting on a concert that's night. I'm one lithium who's putting on a concert tonight. I don't know if I'm the same lil- Oh, Lilum. I keep calling him lithium, my bad. Lilum. Who's, uh, the same Lilum you're looking for. And what are you doing on the way down here? Well, we are making last preparations for the concert, so I snuck out. My producer is always obnoxious while, about while well, that's going on, so I decided, decided to leave. I saw one of the concert posters outside and decided to check this place. Just that? Isn't that a bit dangerous? Won't your producer be mad when you go back? He will, but it's not the first time I've done this. And he still needs to, he still needs me to do the concert anyway. <laughs> I mean, yeah, too valuable. How big is the concert? We planned for a bit over 100,000 people and sold out fast. So we managed to secure ourselves another show in a couple of weeks. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, I may not have as many fans as other performers, but mine are very loyal. And that's nice. Over 100,000 is not many. Then what exactly is? Hold on. Based on your little demonstration from before, I should call you Miss Mickey, right? You don't get it. Let's start from the top. I'll just call you Miss Idol then. Oh, I like that. Hey, you have anything soft? Soft as in alcohol free? No, I mean soft as in soft. Uh, let's see what I can get to you. I'm a bartender at a tender bar. <laughs> what? Something soft. That is a... Is, there, is that even a thing? I know... Hmm, what are you into? There was one that was described as soft. I did remember seeing that. But which one was it? Okay, 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 bad touch, no, no, uh, no, uh, no, 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 where is it, I, I've seen it before, where it's specifically, like, soft, you know, um, spicy, manly, sour, burning, sweet, girly, happy, sour, strong, uh, something, I, I, something not super like strong for sure um, sweet light and fruity maybe this one hmm ooh wait isn't it that's the same thing yeah it's the only one with soft you want another one of these I'll get you another one it's girly soft bitter though I mean you can say sweet so I, I get you another one how about that Cometrine on the rocks. Do I get you the Cometrine? Honestly, I don't. I mean, because, like, it's optional. Um, I don't know if I. I don't know. Because, like, imagine you order, like, something different, and then, like, I give you the same drink. Nah, fine. But, like, that's the best thing. You know, I got you. I'm giving you it. You don't know what you want. I know what you want. I'm giving you a comment train too. It's because, like, you deserve it. 
five, then bam. Let's try this. <laughs> yeah, that'll do it. If we can. <laughs> okay, never mind. That was the right choice. Have you considered being more theatrical in mixing drinks? Huh? Yeah, you know, like spinning bottles, lighting drinks on fire, that kind of stuff. When I was in college, I tried going to a party once. The bartender who tried those tricks gave me a nasty bump on the forehead when the bottle slipped his hand. These kind of theatrics usually feel pointless. It seems to slow down the, the process of actually making a drink. Yeah, but never underestimate the power of putting on a good show. It can feel incredible and very, be very rewarding, you know? I'll keep that in mind. Hmm. Hey, is this glass important? Depends on why you're asking. Do you want me to sign it? Oh, sure, I guess. No, gu no guessing. Are you sure or not? Yeah, do as you please. Okay, then. Who should I make it out to? Are you for my boss? I wonder if G Jill will like it, though. Your name, girl. Oh, for Jill, then. For Jill. Never lose your star from Kira Mickey. That's pretty autograph. Thanks. No, thank you. I guess like someone with this many fans, he has their fair share of stalkers, right? Well, there are two kinds of people who obsess over me. They're the shy ones that follow me everywhere, hiding just out of sight. And there's my fan club. What's the difference between them? The fan club follows me around a lot too, but they usually keep a distance. Actually, I think they're outside waiting for me right now. I see. They're also very organized. They make pretty good soldiers. The others, the stalkers, are a bit sneakier, don't act in groups. I'm guessing those stalkers must be bothersome, huh? Actually, they're not that bad. Stalkers are nice when you get used to them. I remember one, one once protected me from being mugged. There's another that breaks into my house once a week to make me breakfast. <laughs> She fails to see the problem. <laughs> I just wish they leave my underwear drawer the same way they find it. I take pride in how neatly I organize my underwear, you know? I take pride in my old liquor collection. I guess it's the same. No, wait, it isn't. <laughs> yeah, you get me, Jill. Okay. <laughs> One more drink before I go. By now, the stage should be all organized, so the fallout should have settled. Isn't it a bit late for a concert? It's part of my gimmick. I always make concerts that go from night till dawn. In this one, I'm supposed to close with a song called Sunshine Stone. If everything goes as planned, the weather forecast is accurate, the sun should come up just as I reach the climax of the song. I'd be depressed if they asked for Your Love is a Drug as an encore, though. That sounds nice. Yay. Hey, I didn't know people feel their tickets were worth a ridiculous price, you know? Don't you think it sucks to pay for something, only to find out you shouldn't be bothered? Yeah, one time I bought an expensive coffee in this one cafe. It's like fil filthy water with cream. I still don't know if it was the coffee or the girl who served it, but it was bad. Man, that sucks. Speaking of which, do you have anything bitter? I need to wake myself up. Let's see what we're gonna find for you. Freak. I can't just I can't just ask what the order was. I'd look very unprofessional. You are not paying attention, girl. Again another sunshine cloud. <laughs> you like you really like sunshine clouds though. But you need to wake up specifically. Gut punch is really good for, good at that. Um it really it really gets you going. Sunshine Cloud is very nice though. It's pretty it's like oh wait. No, uh, go back. No, no, no. Bitter. Sunshine Cloud is kind of like it, it gets the job done, but I think you know we're not trying to get this lady drunk here. Gut punch sounds best. One, two, three, four, five. One of these and a carmatrine. No, all aged and blended. But she did like. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I don't know. Cause like if I get her one of. I mean, it's bitter to wake up, but like, I'm thinking about it in the context of if it was a real bar, like you order something, can, hey, can I get something different? Like, can I get something, uh, like describe the drink? Like, I'm not going to assume you want the same drink again, right? <laughs> do I really give her a sunshine cloud three times? Or do I give her this, um, the uh, gut punch? good question sunshine cloud it, it gets the job then though it's, she seems to really like these you know what let's go for it one two no no uh, one of these though that's it yeah no karma train come on sunshine cloud all for you try this yeah this works so how is it it could be sweeter excuse me but whatever I figured it was waking you up or something, so really nice, thanks. I hope you aren't offended by this question, but hmm. <laughs> I can see that you enjoy what you do, but how much of it is about music? I'll let you know that before becoming Kira Mickey, I was really a accomplished pianist. I had concerts every week and part-time in bars with a jazz band. I still write and compose my own songs. Whoa, why the change? Going from jazz and piano to idol? 
Have you ever thought about the power music has over people? You could argue it's just noise, but it can make you feel a wide, wide range of emotions. And the power is universal. It could, be tran it could transcend language and culture. Being in a jazz band or something, or performing recitals, I can only take that power to so many people. But being an idol, I can take that power and spread it far and wide. Kids and adults, men and women, they all have access to my music and can reach every one of them. Wow. What music do you like, Jill? I'm not picky, but I prefer versions with no lyrics. Why? I like to listen to music while working, and lyrics distract me. And besides, it always bothers me that when people nonchalantly start singing songs with creepy lyrics, I think only half of the listeners actually care about what's being said. That's a bummer. I give you a copy of my latest CD, but I don't have any at the moment. Don't worry about it. Okay, then I'm out. Thanks for helping me pass the time, Joe. Sure. Please come again. I'll make sure of it. But she'll be alright? Yeah, she'll be fine. You think she'll come back? I Usually I say no, but I honestly don't know. Boss, we're done. Alright. Uh, do you feel like... Wait, do you feel like going to that girls' concert? No, I don't think so. I don't have tickets anyway. Hey, boss. Doesn't name Red Comet ring any bells? Why is that moniker during... Wait. That was my moniker during my wrestling days. You're... Huh? I said they, that's what they call me during my time in the Grand Slam Fighters. They saw me coming, but they couldn't stop me before I crashed into their heads. <laughs> Brutal. Any reason for being red specifically? That way I was three times faster. How'd you find this out? You like wrestling? A client mentioned it yesterday when he saw you. I just kind of remembered it. I see. That's the guy who had Dorothy as the daughter, I think. Unless it's someone else. It could be someone else, but still. I should take you to a wrestling match sometime. Maybe you'll like it. Maybe. In any case, Jill's gills? Cleaning the glasses today. So I'll leave now. Take care. Oh, and boss? Don't cram anything on your head without me thinking, please. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Let's go. Mistakes. What were my mistakes? <laughs> I'm guessing it was the drink at the end, but still though. I don't. My bad. You don't know what you want. We can. I don't know. Okay, whatever. We got money. Okay. Emma Shiv, $800. She looks humming your love is a drug. Buying the song will prevent her from getting too distracted. You cannot browse Kira Mickey's blog. Did that idol really show up? Or is she just like the ghost? Hey. <laughs> you're, you're, you're a Kira Mickey fan now? Where, even, where would that even be? Your love is a drug. Um, let's see. Movie poster. Pick a toy. Gaming. Oh, there it is. It's a, oh, wait. It's a magazine. A magazine with all things idols. Download code for your love is a drug. I mean, fine. Oh! Oh, I get it. She gets distracted during the workday. Because she's like, all these things. <laughs> yeah, so she can focus. Oh, I get it now. I, n I didn't even notice. I was just like, huh. That's why she was so distracted. Like, like laughing at like a joke or laughing at whatever else. Thinking about anything else. To be fair though, like, honestly, like I I'd be doing that too. Regardless, so you know what? That's fine. I mean, whatever. There's Kira, Kira Mickey. Alice Rabbit, Mickey Concert, okay, Alice Rabbit, might be a dog, stop forcing Alice, so we hate Alice now, good, is she the hacker, or is that someone else, it's just that we haven't heard any news yet, I remember the time they posted here, announced the attack, yeah, I remember the cybercrime unit at the admin's ass, and then blah, 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 second retribution birthday, December 17th will come, the second retribution birthday is coming, that font, oh boy, spooky font, it's happening, have for despair, Blah, 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 blah. That face when I just got out of jail. I'm not going back. Do you know what happens to people with IPs in the wrong thread? Hi, Cybercrime Unit. I just wanted to let you know I'm not Alice, but in fact, your mom. Why Why are you gals so nervous? The only one getting freaked is the admin. Admin for fur. Freak off, not this again. Okay. Alright, let's go in order. Mickey Concert 3. In the last thread, non hates fun. I don't want fights. If people are so immature, it's wrong being a guy in danger so that you. Uh, why do we co a care if we assume you're a girl anyway? X for you. Dudes in this thread. <laughs> Let's go back to the concert, please. 207%. And you stupid idiots still care about that petty crap like that. He started everything by mentioning he's a guy. Anyway, we should gather somewhere to take the train to the stadium together. Not a bad idea. We can make an official Danger You meetup. I like 
like I'd want to be seen with a bunch of ugly girls in front of the friends in front of my friends. Okay, next thread. I'm going to moderate the freak out of this. No more no more messing around. No more crap posting. What? Four. How was your first kiss? I tripped into a guy. It hurt like hell. Just cool. The next thread, no blah blah blah. Did that one and on left lit did that one and on left? I think so. He never left. Or I never left. I was just looking. Not to cause any trouble. Don't worry, we're here for you. Any idea for the great revelation? Or you know if you like it yet? Look, I just don't want to ruin our friendship. We know each other since we were very young. We've known each other, whatever. So she's your childhood friend? It's like one of those Japanese animes. Yeah. So this one, this is what you have to do. When Mickey ends singing Lovers in Paradise, you kiss her. Kiss? Of course. You're trying to imagine how magical that one would be with your feet fireworks and epic guitar solo. I'll think about it. I mean, we're, it's getting, it's getting spicy, you know, we're, we're getting somewhere, we're getting, we're getting there. Neo, San Francisco, rocked by a powerful earthquake, millions saved. Well, what we couldn't do with this money, he'll use for that anyway. What? I guess, read it first, do this after. Okay, Kimberly Laval, Valet, right, whatever. Powerful 8.6 magnitude tremor has struck the area of Neo San Francisco. Fortunately, modern scientists are able to identify the quake almost an hour in advance, providing the city plenty of time to prepare for the worst. During the conference call, Glue City's Prime Minister Quincy congratulated the rescue teams for Neo SF for its rapid response in the wake of the warning. They're an example to follow, and we're certainly looking forward to the implement these advancements in earthquake in earthquake prediction here in our beautiful city the city is not currently known to be a seismic zone interesting but use for what well we couldn't do for the money oh, okay whatever um okay one more civil death and we'll ban protests by kimberly say person okay sorry after numerous protests had around the city that was caused by ongoing economic and safety crisis, crisis Glitch City's Prime Minister Quincy has made it clear that if the rioters take another civilian's life, we'll personally write a law to ban all kinds of public manifestations. Okay. This simply can't go on. Quincy told AE during a call, they only want to destroy public property. They're actively sabotaging our efforts to recover our beautiful city. And I've decided that if they cause another civil civilian casualty, I'll do everything in my power to ban protests. The White Knights will have full authorization to use maximum force. Which you will be running for the second term next year. Okay. Let's ignore that civilian deaths are not caused by other rioters. Okay. Alice Rabbit. Group? The answer here. By Lana Smithy. Um, who is Alice Rabbit? Judging by the complexity of the methods that we've used to breach all kinds of protected software, some are starting to think this is in fact a group and not a single individual. So is Alice Rabbit a group after all? Not the first time this would be a thing. More than half a century ago, a group of notorious hackers rose to prominence and they called themselves Anon. Haha, <laughs> they weren't even a threat to real protected data. December 17th. I should really ask Alma where to take on Alice underscore Rabbit is. Cool. Uh, let's do this. The Kira Mickey. It's you. Hey, buddy. I served you earlier. Oh, go back. Thanks, GC. Oh, this, okay. Um, oh, I love this place. So much energy. So much love. I can feel the optimism in the air. Even after all the struggles, you still come to see, came to see me and I got to experience the loudest and craziest crowd in my whole career. I'm beyond speechless. That said, I'm excited to announce I have a second day in the city. It wasn't easy to set up, but I'm so happy my agency approved it. It was by far our biggest show and I can't wait to experience it again. See you soon, darling. Dome concert. And yeah, I'll show come again. Is what we said. Uh, hi, everyone. Are you ready for a dome concert? I sure am. I perform and write a large number of concerts every year, but even then, I can't help but be excited every time I have one around the corner. It's all thanks to you. Thanks to our energy and love surrounding my life in every aspect. I'm going to perform all your favorite songs, so please be excited. Just one little request. Please don't wait for me outside the stadium or my bodyguards will get angry at you. I wouldn't like to see you hurt, so please don't do it. My bodyguard? Does she mean the fan club? <laughs> oh, okay. okay. What I do to relax. By Mickey. I've been very hectic as of late, so I can share with you what I like to do with relax. Sitting on rooftops. I'm on the road most of the time, so I don't have a specific rooftop to relax on. I like to feel the breeze and feel, see a beautiful vista. It makes me think about life. Tea cocktails. Oh, this is something I can't live without. Mixing tea with vodka, rum, gin, lime, and name any tasty or natural com combination, I'll be all over it. I'm very careful about getting tipsy for a show, though. 
I wouldn't like to ruin your evening. Yeah, so it was right not to give her too much alcohol. I gave her one, but I didn't I didn't know. So that's what she meant by tea like drink. Okay. Okay, we're learning, we're learning. And this one will probably show up later. Okay. Uh Life back up. Cool. Oh we we did good. I think we did good. That's good for today though. Is awesome and we don't need to buy anything I wasn't paying attention to like what it said last time in terms of the um the freaking like different things to serve so I had no idea but now I do so okay <laughs> I'm pretty big fan of this game you might have noticed um but that's just how it is I, I like it I, I think it's good for today though so we're chilling let's put this Real quick. Okay. I think that's good for today. Today's stream. I know it was like kind of short compared to the usual, but hey, man, I it was a spontaneous one. Okay. Okay. My bad. <laughs> but okay. Um, we're good. I'm probably gonna get some breakfast, but like in a timely manner rather than yesterday. So I'll be good. You know, I'll, I'll be chilling. And I, I still gotta grind whatever the heck else I need to do. But hey. I was like, screw it, I have time, woke up nice and early, I can get a stream in. And I did. And you might have been able to hear me wake up throughout the stream, so at the beginning, you hear me like, rrr, 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 my morning voice type of, hold on, shh, my morning voice type of thing, versus now, where it's more like, I mean, still kind of, but not as much, yeah? But okay. Thank you, anybody, for stopping by, hope you enjoyed what you, what you saw and you know hope you're enjoying the game much, as much as I am <laughs> I'm I, I'm really liking it plus the music is good so it's just a win-win all around but yeah uh, thanks for coming by and have a good one goodbye bye bye Shh.